Well, hello. Hi. Let me in. Grab a seat. Wow, I haven't seen you in a New York minute. Oh, it's been a couple of New York minutes for sure. Oh, my gosh. How you been? It's good to have you back again. If you're new, then obviously you're not back again. You're here for the first time. So, hello. I'm Connie. I can't be formal. You've just entered Connie's little corner. And yes, that would make me Connie. I'm your hostess with the mostest for today. I have a couple of Timu bags we're going to go through. Um, I have some stuff that I ordered that you have never seen me haul before. Then again, most everything you've never seen me haul before. Because I try not to do too many duplicates in case I need them. <laughs> anyway. If you are new here, please go down below into the description box. You will find my link. That link will get you two things. Number one, you can spin the little wheel and get a $100 coupon bundle with coupons for use on future purchases. And secondly, if you use my code, which I'm going to put right up here for you, AFC95851, that code will get you 30% off your first order. There are some criteria about how quickly you need to order or what your orders are capped out at, and that will also be down below so that you completely understand the 30% off. What Timu will do for me is Timu will throw $5 credit onto account, onto my influencer account, not my personal account, so that I can bring you sponsored orders and products um, like I tend to bring you. So let's get started. Uh, yeah, I'm leaning a lot today. Again, another night, but I'm not just a couple hours sleep. It's kind of getting crazy. Um, I'm hoping that it will fade eventually and I'll be able to get a normal night's sleep. All right, let's get that open. Nothing in it. Item number one, this was a dollar thirty-four. It may oh, if you're new, prices will be up here. Links to these items will be down below. And if I forgot anything, leave me a comment and I'll respond. <laughs> we started out as a dollar thirty-four. This is a really cute pack of pens. Hold on, I gotta adjust my light. Bear with me just a second. Oh, lights, lights everywhere. Too many lights. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, dollar thirty-four. This is a cute little set of four pack of pens. I was just doing searches for like stocking stuffers or small gifts and all sorts of different things along those lines. I thought these were really cute. They're all just little peachy color, pink and blue and white flowered color pens. Nothing spectacular, just pens. A dollar thirty-four for four pens. These all come with those little clear rubber tips on the bottom, which really bother me to no end. I don't know why. I just don't like them. They're hard to get off. Hold on. I want to get it off. See if I could scribble on something. It would help if I had something to scribble on, wouldn't it? There we go. Timeline, black point. Pretty cool. They feel good in the hand, too. They're not, um, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. All right, how do you retract them? Good question. All right, this one doesn't seem to want to retract. It's lost its button. It doesn't want to retract. You cannot retract that statement. Seriously, look, the button on top is totally flat as opposed to these. So these were these three seem to be okay. You know, that's one thing I never thought to check on pens is if the tops would pop up or not. I will just I'll play. There we go. I got it. Okay. I had to tighten the bottom. The bottom was loose from trying to pull off that thing. So now we know how to fix it, right? <laughs> Four pens, a dollar thirty-four. That's all I'm saying. I need glasses. Oh. My coffee mug from Timu says coffee on it. This is a beautiful teal green, and this it has my love sticker on it because I love my coffee. That, by the way, is my fourth cup of coffee for this morning. All right. The next item was a dollar sixty-one, and doesn't want to let me open it. Charlie. 
Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Poor Charlie. I reorganize the top of my desk so it's like not so crowded and I actually have room to do things. Um, now I can't find anything. I could have just left it the way it was. This is another set of pens. Set of four. These are a little bit different colors. These are greens. And they're like a nice sagey green and a mint green. Four different patterns. Gotta check all the tops. I do believe these also write, gosh, those little tips off in the black. Let's find out. Fine line black. There we go. So really nice. Again, these feel good in the hand. They're comfortable. They're not too long. When you do Sudoku all the time and you have a mother that does Sudoku all the time and you have a sister that's moving in who writes, is a writer, you can never have too many pens. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. A piece of jewelry. This is a really messed up order. Anyway, 89 cents. I thought it was a good deal. These are, I guess they call them rhombus because of the shape. They're on posts, which you all know how I feel about posts, right? <laughs> I will be changing, but they're very, okay, tangled. Holy moly's. There we go. They're just open rhombus designs. And I'll put my hand behind here so that you can see. These are like a, a coffee color, like a tan color. They have a little button on the top of the post where it looks like a button. And then they've got the little gold dangly. But I like that it has the two different squares that make it dimensional so that it hangs a little bit different. I like that about it. So I'm not crazy about the button with the post. I will probably be putting these into my, uh-oh, have to modify earrings to get rid of the post. But they're not too big. Um, I don't have any earrings on today, so I can put this on and show you. Oh, my God. I think I can put it on if I can find the hole in my ear. I haven't worn earrings for a couple of days because of everything I've been doing in the house. But there you go. They're not too, too big. Very lightweight. They kind of disappear, though, when my hair is down. So if my hair was up, it'd be much easier to see. Or if you have darker hair, this is the color that kind of blends with what I'm wearing, with the hair piece that I'm wearing. For those of you that are new, you'll see me wear a variety of hair pieces. This one, I did decide to name. This is the Julie, all right, because she just reminds me so much of Julie in the Mod Squad with the long, straight hair. It's the way that my hair used to be. Um, I did find some pictures. I'm not sure if I want to share them. <laughs> but anyway, earrings, yes, yeah, kind of cool. Uh, they do disappear, but if I'm wearing the gray hair piece or if I have my hair up in a ponytail, that'll be fine. Okay. These I've never gotten. This was $4.04 .04 for this package. And this is a set of six replacement blades. And these are six blade razors. Actually, it has 18 blades total. So for a little over $4, 18 replacement blades and the nice rubberized grip handle to put them on. So let's find out how easy these may or may not be to change. All right. And they come in a tray. Each tray has three so that I don't have to open up everything and they're not all flopping around the place. Supposedly, I'm supposed to be able to just click this in here 
I don't know which way though. Oh, this way. Okay. And be able to pop out a, a blade. Wow. It worked. <laughs> That's all it took. And you can see it has multiple blades on there. Our six blades and a moisture strip. And it all comes very easily to just pop it in and get it out. And when I want to change the blade, there's the little button. And it just pops right off. Not too bad. Okay. I can live with that. I do like, too, that it has some flex to it, if you can see, so that it will flow against your skin, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It's all about the flow, right? We have to flow. <laughs> Every time I think of flow, some of you will think of the insurance commercial with flow, but I don't. I think of the old TV show Mel's Diner with Flo, who used to always say, Kiss my grits. Why? Well, I, I just really loved Mel's Diner. Was that the name of the show? I can't remember the name of the show, but I remember it was Mel's Diner. Um, Linda Lavin, I think, was the brunette in it. I'm not sure. I can't remember. The name will come to me, but whoever was slow. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Another package. There's only two items in this package, but... These items are for my puppy dogs. Now that myself and my animals have gotten acclimated to the temperatures here in Arizona, when it gets down in January, February, when our days get down into the 50s and our nights get down even colder um, into like the 40s and upper 30s, we will see like a little bit of morning frost and then it'll fade off, but it gets chilly and my dogs get chilly. I've noticed over the past couple of years that at nighttime when it's cold, they'll run out and do their business and then run right back in. They don't want to spend any time outside. So I got them sweaters. I got a gray one for Levi and I got a purple one for Sadie. And I will put up pictures so that you can see them. Oddly enough, both of my dogs, and I think it's because of the pit bulls, they have big, strong barrel chests. And even though Sadie is lighter and not as muscular, her chest is only a half inch smaller than his. I, oh, my God, it's too cute. She's just curled up on the pillow. I don't know if you can see this. Hold on a second. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about you, Sadie. <laughs> and she's laying on the puppy pillow, which makes it even cuter. And his highness is laying quietly. He's not doing the circles anymore. But let's not jinx it, okay? <laughs> so Sadie's was $7.48. And Levi's was $6.28. And the difference is simply because of the color. I wanted Sadie to have purple. Oh, Levi, did you hear your name, honey? Mr. Levi's right here. Say hi, Mr. Levi. Look at those big eyes and that happy tail. Meet your happy tail, huh? Yeah, meet your happy tail. Yeah. This is for mommy? Okay. <laughs> Sadie is completely healed, by the way. Hold on. I hate doing that. I just lost my camera. Oh, my goodness. We'll get it back. Don't worry. There we go. <laughs> so, as I was saying, Sadie is completely healed. Thank you for your prayers and your concern and your well wishes. Um, everything that she was going through is gone. It's history. And this, this is the cutest little sweater. Look at this. It actually looks like a little people sweater. So, Obviously, this part is open, and this only comes down to rest across the top of the body so that, obviously, she can do what she needs to do but be bundled up. And it goes on the dogs just as if it were a regular sweater. So I am going to probably put this 
uh, put Levi's on him because he's standing next to me. And I will put a picture up of how Levi looks in his little sweater. But he's a guy, so I couldn't get him purple, you know. he Dogs are colorblind, but I'm not. <laughs> so this one is gray, and it's just all gray. Really nice material, and if you look at it, it's like fleecy on the inside. This is really cool. This is going to keep the basic chill off their back. I think it's really, really cool. And, again, it has the open on the back where this just rests on the top of their back. But this keeps their chest area nice and warm and comfy. And these are thick. These are, And I like them. They're sweaters. Does Levi want his sweater? He does. He wants his sweater? Oh, he's such a good boy. He knows. Because back in New York, they had actual winter coats because obviously sub-zero temperature so when i would ask them if they wanted their sweater or they wanted their their coat or hold on they couldn't go out because they had to have their coat on they would literally sit and line up at the door and wait for their coats to go on and then i'd open the door and they'd be out in the snow and having a blast so let's see what else we got in here what else we got mr levi you don't know He's right next to me, hoping I got something for him. He heard his name. All right. So in here is two things I have never gotten from Chino. I've never gotten these either. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. What's the matter, Mr. Levi? Don't eat that, please. I don't know what he found. He's a goat. He eats anything. Okay. Ta-da! Loaf pan. Silicone meatloaf pan. Silicone bread pan for small mini loaves of bread. I have gotten addicted to these silicone baking things. I have uh, mini cupcakes, regular size cupcakes, cake pans, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cookie molds for when I make homemade biscuits for the dogs. I love the silicone because when you bake, you literally can just pop everything out. They clean up so, so easily. And they don't take any space when you store them because I can crinkle it up and I can stick it in a Ziploc bag. And it doesn't, it doesn't take up room. I've even got silicone uh, collapsible strainers dish strainers uh dish strainers food strainers so colanders and i have them in different sizes so i am loving the silicone the little individual muffin cups the little individual uh bunt pans mini bunt cake makers when i do the video for my timu kitchen which hopefully will be in the next week or so You'll see uh, all the silicone things that I got off of Timu. But anyway, red, of course. Yes, it does come in other colors. This is the full-size one. Um, this one is like nine inches. So, yeah, obviously, it's the time of year for baking, and I will be doing some baking. Let's set that over there. Right. Now, oh, by the way. Can I tell you the price on this? Let's see. $3.99. However, it was free. As was the other things I'm going to show you from this order. that were also free. Because this was the order that was lost. This order was nine days without any tracking updates. On day seven. And this is something you might want to try. On day seven, I will always contact customer service and say, where's my order? Especially if there's been no updates. And this one had no updates. At one point, it had no updates for four days. So I immediately went to customer service and I said, where's my order? I haven't gotten any updates. And of course, the usual bot will say, okay, we'll outreach to the carrier and uh, we'll let you know. And if it's late, you know, we'll give you a $5 credit. 
So at seven days, I still didn't have it, and there were still no updates, so I contacted them again, and boom, they gave me that $5 instant credit. That's okay. And then at nine days, it still wasn't in, so I contacted them again. I said, look, this is ridiculous. It's been nine days. I don't have my order. I don't have any updates. So they gave me a full refund on the order. And then two days later, it finally got delivered. But in the meantime, because of repeated issues now with this other carrier, which started out to be really good, this is Uni Uni, and they were really good in the beginning, and all of a sudden, they started losing my orders and delaying my orders, and ergo, $30, $31 worth of credits on my account, which I did spend on stuff that I've been waiting for. And that's what it's perfect for. So anyway, this was $5.79. And it is, how many are in here? I'm reading upside down. I can't read upside down anymore. I used to be able to read upside I can't read with these glasses either. Uh, 10 pack. This is a 10 pack. Really, five seventy nine. That's a good price. It's like fifty seven, fifty eight cents a piece. This is a ten pack of jewelry holders. Now, I have some good jewelry. Obviously, I think we all have at least one or two pieces of good jewelry. But I have some sterling silver jewelry, and I have some actual silver, silver, Native American, real smelted silver jewelry that. Sometimes I forget I have it and I don't wear it because I forget I have it. And then I know I have to clean it and turn it, you know, because it tarnishes. But these cases, these are amazing little cases. If you haven't seen them, I think I showed them to you when I had gotten a piece of um, moissanite, a moissanite ring. So they open. Now, we're going to think outside. the. i got to figure out which way the hinge goes. <laughs> I'm trying to open it from the back side. So these are just very flexible little panels. Can you see my finger pushing in to the panel? So what it does is it puts pressure when you put an item in there. So, for example, I probably shouldn't do this because of the post on it, but I'll be really careful. All right. So if I put this earring in here, I'm going to lay it flat. It holds it in there. And it doesn't let it move around. But it protects it. It keeps it from getting dust and whatever else on it. And it keeps it from getting lost. It's a lot easier to find one of these than it is to find, uh, like, my diamond studs that I wear all the time. When I take them out for cleaning and I have to bring them to the jeweler for the good cleaning, this is the perfect thing to put them in so that I can put them in here, seal them in here, and this to the jeweler and not have to worry about taking them out when I get there or whatever. Much, much safer. But think outside this little box. It is sealed tight. <laughs> if you don't get your finger, there's a little groove right here. Can you see that little little indentation? And it does it says open on it, but it's got that little indent right there. If you get your finger in that indent, you're not going to get this open. I like that about it because it's going to keep everything that's in. It's tight. So, rings, earrings, special charms. How about a lock of hair from your first child? Or how about the first baby tooth that was ever lost? Or baby teeth. You can put multiples in here uh, from one child. This could be the tooth fairy box, and you can a whole bunch in here you can put anything that you can think of in here if you have a special gemstone like maybe a piece of amethyst or something um the healing stone you can put that in here within reason these are not super thin but they're not super thick i don't know how big of an item would actually fit in here without it being too bulky I have a battery. We're going to see if a battery will fit in here. 
I'll be damned. Oh. Hope I can say that. Look. That's holding the battery. It squeezed itself around the battery. And it's holding that. So that's pretty thick. That's pretty good. I got to get it out of there, though. I don't know if that's a wise thing. But it, you can use it for anything. Small watch batteries that you don't want floating all over the place. And this just came to mind. I just thought of this when I put this in here. But you can put those little tiny, tiny. And look, it bounces right back into shape. It doesn't permanently distort the plastic. So what can you put in here? Baby teeth, baby hair, charms, crystals, um, any, anything that means anything. You, could, you can use it as a little picture frame. You can actually get holders. They have holders that it can sit in. So you can put it in this way or that way. If there's something you want to display, like a, a lock of hair from someone that you love or from someone that you lost, a memento of some sort. So it comes in it. I think this is a 10 pack. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. It comes in a 10 pack. Uh, my intent is to use this for jewelry. And I'm thinking that, uh, yeah, my good. I actually have one pair of silver, silver, uh, smelted silver that is too big to go in these because they're too long. They're very wide and very dangly and they're very too long. But I do have other ones that I can put in with. So here's your little boxes. Think outside the little box. Feel them puppies up. Oh, it fits nice in the meatloaf pan. <laughs> so you could, okay. This is how twisted I'm feeling today. You put all your pieces and all your mementos into these cases. You pop them into this baking pan and you shove it in a drawer someplace. <laughs> So instead of having all these little things floating in the drawer, they're all like, you can just pick them right out. See what one's in there. So there you go. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. It's another use for a loaf pan. It's a storage thing, and it's got the little handle. I know. I'm I'm weird. I'm totally, totally weird. I'm losing things all over the place. Oh, Marcus. Wow. Sorry. Okay. Let's get on to the last two things that I have to bring you today. Don't worry. I have more orders coming. And I do have another sponsored haul coming, which will probably be my last sponsored haul of 2023. Because we are now on, what, December 8th? Somewhere around there. The first week of December is already passed. So I'm thinking, yeah, I have one more um, sponsored haul coming. By the time I get it, it'll be the end. You know, but I'll show it to you. Oh, speaking of showing to you, don't forget. Yes, it's a shoe. <laughs> don't forget to send me your pictures for your holiday decor. I'm very excited about being able to share your images. Um, you know, be proud. Like I know when I do certain decorations, I want everybody to see it. I decorated out in the front of my house, which is the first time I've been able to do this in almost 20 years. Even back in New York, there was always something coming up. I didn't decorate my own home. I always decorated for mom. And I made sure that inside her place and whatnot was decorated. So I just, yeah, I decided to forego the decorations for me. Um, this is now my second Christmas in this house because I've owned the house for a little more than a year. And with the encouragement of my neighbors and a couple of friends down here and some friends in New York, um, I decorated outside. So my pictures if you want to see them. Just let me know, and I'll put those in the video, too. Right. I bought shoes. Flats. For the wintertime. This is about as much shoe as I need in the wintertime. These are like a denim blue. They're a nice uh, PU material, a pleather material. 
I like that they have a little bit of venting and design on the side. So I'll play with the little bow. It's tasteful. Venting on the top. It's got a nice solid sole on it. These are a 40, which is basically a seven and a half, eight, somewhere around there. Um, I think they classify it as a seven and a half. And it's got just a little bit of a wedge to it, but it does have a wonderfully padded insole and a padded arch. I have super high arches. I could put my foot on the floor and you could put Carly this thick under my arch and it still would not hold my arch up, which is, I guess, why it's easy for me to wear the stilettos because of my foot being up all the time because of that arch. So let's see how these fit. I'm going to put one on. I'm going to get my old legs up here. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. They fit. Absolutely perfect. And yes, this old lady is flexible. Look. Isn't that nice? That's a nice shoe. I like the way it fits. Solid bottom. Very nice on the top. Because of my high arch, I can't have a shoe that comes up onto the top. I have to have one that stops um, right at the toe, like just beyond the toes before it actually hits the arch. I can't even wear a sandal that has anything that comes up onto the middle of my foot because my arch is so freaking high. Hold on. Breathe. Oh, breathe. By the way, do you like my Timu today? I got my Timu shirt. I have those matching red, actually burgundy, because they match this color perfectly. The leggings you saw in the last haul. My Timu hat with my beautiful, look at that, my beautiful Timu peacock that you saw me iron on. I don't have any earrings on today. And then I have my Timu hair piece. Now I have Timu shoes on. Yeah, I know they're blue. It's okay. But now that I know, this is a first pair of shoes. I've gotten flip-flops from Timu, but not shoes. This is the very first pair of shoes that I've ever gotten. And i got to tell you, I, my feet are on the floor. I'm loving the cushion. They feel really good. They don't feel tight. They fit perfectly. So I think I need to go order I don't know, a pair of basic black. Everybody should have a pair of basic black shoes, and the only basic black shoes I have are stilettos. <laughs> Nothing basic about those. All right, last item in this haul is actually for Mama, and it's a pair of shoes. Very similar to what I'm wearing. A couple of sizes smaller because she's got tiny little feet. She's got like a six and a half, seven, depending on how much her feet are swollen. But, again, really nicely vented. Nicely vented in the front. I love that little flower pattern. Good cushion on the insole. These are a little bit different than the ones that I just showed you, than the blue ones. But a little bit of wedge like this, a good bottom. All right, these are, I think, a 38 or 36. Uh, so they're much smaller, like a, a six and a half, seven. These are going to be perfect for mom because the bottom is solid. All right. It's not going to twist when she walks. And that's important that she have something that is going to support her well. That's going to give her something on the bottom. We can't wear. She broke her hip mm, years ago. And because of the bone loss, she's obviously she's got one leg, the broke the leg that the hip broke. Is about a quarter inch shorter because of the missing. I have to be able to put a pad in these, uh, a lift in that particular heel so that she's more balanced. If the lift is not there, she loses her balance. And it's very important that she don't lose her balance. So nice, sturdy, supported, good soles. If I find this sole is not enough, Believe it or not, what I found on Timu, and I'll put a picture up for you. Uh, well, I might if I can find the picture, but at least I'll put the, the link down for you. You can get these uh, blue on 
non-slip soles. And I I knew they were all over the place. I didn't realize that Timu had them too, and they're not that expensive. So if this is not enough of a grip for mom, she does shuffle. She's 94. Of course she shuffles, right? Shuffles sometimes. And I'm not 94. Color on these, though. This is called champagne. This color is called champagne. And it's like a washed out taupe. But that's for mama. That's a Christmas present for mama. Yes, I know. I get useful things. But when it comes to mama... She doesn't have needs, so to speak. She has emotional needs and whatnot. And obviously, she has, you know, medical needs and that kind of stuff. But as far as needing things like around the house or whatever, she doesn't need that kind of stuff. Um, she needs maybe new clothes because some of her clothes is almost as old as she is. New clothes, better shoes. Um, I tend to change her shoes out every couple of years. Because of the fact that she does shuffle and because of the fact that she doesn't support her own weight very well, um, her shoes, they get worn. On the inside, they get worn. And on the bottoms, a little bit more than those of us who actually pick up our feet to walk, right? So there. What do you think about all that? That wasn't too bad. Believe it or not, that was three orders. I have six more orders on the way and a sponsored order also on the way, um, oh, the sponsor order, there's going to be some cool stuff in there. And in my order, I spent my $31, $32 worth of credits. That's some stuff I've been waiting on. So by all means, save your credits. I, there's a comment in the last video. I think someone said that she had saved over $60, if I'm not mistaken, in credits and finally got an item that she'd been waiting for, just like I did with that spinning food dispenser. I saved my credits and only paid like 29 cents for something that normally costs like $20. So if you don't really need to shop for something, when you do shop for something, remember you can go in and stop Timu from using your credits. Check my tips and tricks part two. And it'll show you how to split your credits or keep your credits, right? Alrighty. In the meantime, we are done for the day. Uh, I have a lot of stuff to go do around the house because we only have a few weeks before we actually start bringing smaller stuff into the house and gradually merging Kathy into this environment. Yes, you will get to meet her. Yes, she will sit right by my side while we do a video. And yes, she has agreed to do a makeup makeover on me using the Timu products that I have and just showing you the difference. What I can decide is are we going to do half my face in makeup and leave the other half or are we just going to do a complete before and after? So leave your comments down below. Leave your thoughts down below. In the meantime, stay comfortable wherever you are. Stay hydrated. Doesn't matter if it's coffee or whatever. Just drink. Fuck <laughs> permission to drink. Oh, Lord, that could be a problem. <laughs> but above all else, please stay sweet, and I will catch you again in a couple of days.